Sword Star, Ukoming, New V Max. And that's free prizes for us, which is very juicy. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the sponsor of the channel, PDCGO Store, where you can buy codes with 5% off using the discount code FTW. It's a way to support the channel whilst getting something in return, so why not? Now, with that said, let's get going. How do you pronounce this card? Is it Zacian? Is it Zacian? I see a lot of Zacians being thrown around. I see a lot of Zacians being thrown around. If you were to ask me, I definitely like Zacian. Zacian, whichever one makes you like me. Don't up sub to my channel because I said the word wrong. I'm sorry. Zacian. Ha, ha, I've committed Zacian V star um, with that break edge attack for a two metal colorless and a single color. Metal, man said metal colorless. Yo. <laughs> two metal, one colorless, 200 damage, and it is basically shred. It just goes through anything. And that V star power sword star for the same but extra colorless on top. 310 damage, and it does 30 damage to itself. I mean, all things considered, those are very decent attacks. Right? 200 plus shred Gudra. You're gonna have a field day for a choice belt on there. Gudra, well, that, 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 actually, that doesn't make a difference. But nonetheless, you're shredding through Gudra. And then you have a one hit KO attack built into it. I mean, what's going on? Why is this not seeing much play? Well, either way, we're gonna be playing it today. And no, I'm not gonna be boring and play it with an Arcus. No, I'm not gonna be even more boring and play it with a Lost Box engine. Come on, who do you think I am? We're playing it with the Magna Zone. Of course, we've gotta do it. So, what we've done is I've pretty much been a bit cheeky and just nicked a list off Limitless for. Dialga and just threw Zacians in there and adjusted it accordingly. Now, I know the Dialga list tends to play a very high energy count of like 22, but we only play 15. And we've just increased the likes of Korra's Experiment, added some Ultra Balls, which weren't typically in the list, which is for Pivot, again, not in the list. Another boss's orders, ultimately just making it more consistent in the long run of the game. Considering that with Dialga, you try and load up a ton of energy, Zacian, you don't really need to do that so much in comparison. So you have more time to kind of work on other Zacians and stuff like that. So that's what I've done with that list. To ultimately get this Donny going, start swinging, taking KOs, and even getting potential one at KO at the time of, let's say, kind of against a VMAX or something like that. Here is the full deck list on screen for you to see for yourself. I know there's been some requests to see a full version on screen. PCGL doesn't offer that, and this is going to be my workaround, just making a list, and I'll show you at the end of kind of going through what it's all about, the full screen. So that's what it is here. Yeah, if you want to build it yourself through this means, then definitely take a screenshot. Of course, it's always in the description anyway, so it's up to you. But nonetheless, that is what the list looks like in its complete form. So without further ado, Let's get playing with the Alsatian, Zacian. Okay, we're playing Arceus. I saw it in the Mulligans. The top deck's better than nothing, but the the hand is pretty rough. It's pretty bad, if you ask me. Uh, if I know I'm looking down, I have some <laughs> I have some really bad sleeves here. I'm just I've just got like an old deck that I like shuffling. I want to practice my shuffling, bro. You know, what I mean, I'm gonna be playing in real life soon. You know, I've got to start practicing my old riffles. Although, funny enough, right? With this, it's kind of ironic. It's almost like in my life I prepared for it in some way, but. I um, actually used to really like doing magic tricks back in the day when I was a kid. So I think I've already told this story before, but for those who don't know, I used to love doing magic tricks. Um, I would even do them to do a bit of a gamba gamba, you know, try and get some free lunch food during school. Uh, honestly, what it was is this girl had a crush on me and I'll just, she, she, she liked giving me her lunch <laughs> for some reason. So she let me do tricks on her for my lunch as a way to kind of spend time. Listen, I was like 14, right? I don't know what I'm doing. No one knows what they're doing at that age, okay? Leave it out before you start getting all, oh yeah, yeah, yeah bad person. Oh, Sean, you're such a bad person. Right, anyway, Magna's own guarantee. Go for a swing, but not really what we're looking for. We also don't need to worry about the Volpix. That's pretty clutch. So clearly the Adamant uh, guarantees there's uh, the, 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 the Magnezone, but nothing else. The Arena, same. So I guess we go for Colrez, right? We need a Magnezone and a Zassian. There's a big ask here, but it's okay if we don't get it. Might be worth... Okay, that's a guarantee. That's maybe... It might be worth Maridon. I think we maride on here um, and just get ourselves, if we can get Rotom, Rotom V down, kind of clutch. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's what we want. And then I can just draw some cut. Okay, I was, bro, I was about to flip. But there's no switch to be flipping, so we're fine. Um, anyway, back to your story time before the win TC cheek. I'm gonna make this someone please and I can make a video out of it and it gets you extra cash for your hard labor. Hey, I'm waffling. Um 
So yeah, I used to do these magic tricks and stuff and kind of hustle. And one of the tricks involved a lot of shuffling. I learned how to like do a false shuffle, um, which it's extremely obvious is a false shuffle, by the way. And it's completely out of the ordinary and you cannot do in Pokemon TCG. It involves like making like triple cuts and doing these weird maneuvers. Um, and it would basically false cut the deck. So it would be like a fancy set of cuts, but ultimately you're taking three different cuts like so, and then you're moving them around and putting them back in the same place they started. That's the idea. It just looks like I'm really skilled at shuffling um, and making cuts, but I'm just moving things around and putting them back. Um, and it involves a lot of that, a lot of like riffle. So I used to riffle, you know, this way, so you'd riffle vertically, um, almost to a point where you kind of do, you do this, right? And, but these are old cards, by the way, I don't really care about them. And then you kind of do that and then, yeah. You don't do that in Pokemon TCG for some reason. I'm assuming it's something to do with the sleeves. Um, you don't do this. You do the side version, don't you? But you do this and then you kind of riffle. Um, so I'm kind of been practicing that because I never did that. But anyway, back to the point. Because of that, I'm actually okay at shuffling anyway. <laughs> so it's not a skill I really needed to fully learn. Um, purely because of a coincidence of the fact that I really enjoyed doing magic tricks as a kid. It's strange how your life links things together like that. It's so weird, uh, but I absolutely love it. Anyway, they've got their Arceus off. They're off to the races. I'm sitting here talking like a, you know, I'm, I'm comfortably in the lead. But, uh, you know, uh, blood's out here without even having a Zacian V star or even a draw supporter available. Ay caramba. All right, please top deck me some Gucci stuff. Okay, honestly, it's not bad. I get to attack. I can even gust up the, oh, I can gust up the Vulpix? Metal weakness, ah, isn't affected by weakness or resistance or by any effects on your pet's active Pokemon. So I believe we actually don't Oko this because of that mere fact. So it might be worth me just gusting a V for a KO. That's so annoying, bro. It's Shred, but also isn't affected by weakness. Oh, that sucks. Does the Ralazon have that on there? Or is it just, I don't know. I'm just waffling still. Okay, well, in that case, I think we just take out a Arceus V and Choice Spell KO. That's fine. Honestly, we played, as I said, we played four bosses. They've got a Luminion down. I mean, bro, we have so many beautiful cards here for us just to take, you know? For us just to, you know what I mean? Even if they come up with Arceus, bro, Sword Star, you know what I'm saying? The only issue is, we don't have a rare candy right now. That's that's the one thing we're kind of looking for, hoping for, I guess you could say. That's the dream. Let's just let's just let's just hope. Hey, that, that's that's all we've got really. That's all we we could stick together. <laughs> Cheers on that one. Chorus experiment. This does have Duraludon, so it'd be interesting to see if they try and set that up. I saw that also in the mulligan, by the way. That's how I know. Um, because we can actually Oko Duraldon VMAX. We can. So it might actually be worth me not going for Bre uh, not going for Sword Star on this Arceus. Although the prize trade, I can just Gust Luminion for game if I get there. I need the cards. It might be worth me just, yeah. I think I got a Sword Star. Oh gosh. As much as it'd be nice, to Oko to Valad on VMAX. Like, that's a beauty. We gotta go there, right? We, we, we've, gotta, we've gotta do the V Star here for the KO. <sighs> okay. I want to Ultra Ball to Thin, but. Oh no, with one the million down already. I could Ultra Ball next turn for something like Azas. For. Not Azasian, sorry, for Greninja to get extra boost in draw. Yeah, I think we hold the Ultra Ball. Yeah, let's just do it. Sword Star, insta KO on that Arceus. Oh, what a beautiful sight. That's lovely. Let's get ourselves rare candy. Let's go. Now we just need the way to, we need to dig for the boss now. That's what we're looking for. Bear in mind, you know, we still got time. We could still up another Zassian V on the bench if we get lucky enough. I'm telling ya. Huh? What the hell is that? 30 more damage to lightning? What is blood drinking? What is, what's he on? Huh?
What in any world does that... What difference does that make? None. It changes to 190 on... 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 Maridon? Hey, fill me in someone, please. I beg you. Because <laughs> I am baffled. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there. Ultra Ball. Sequencing. We have a recycler. Okay. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First, though, we Greninja. Okay. And see if we get the boss. Go on. Okay, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's no Oko on us next turn for them. Okay. Recycler. Boom, 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 boom. Now we just guarantee the energy for sure, bro. You know what I mean? Giga Magnet. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was scary. Okay, we, we did get there. We did get there. <laughs> Bit scary, but we got there, you know? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Break Edge. Now, they're going to have to retreat to Duraladon VMAX, right? That's just for sure. And then we need to kind of dig for Gust, which means it might be worth me throwing in energy on something like Greninja, throwing that into the active and using Rotom V just to get extra cards out and get that final play. We just need the bot. Bro, we play four. One in the discard pile. We've seen no supporters so far. We've seen, what, literally two? It's a shame the Luminion's down, but it is what it is, right? Just need that final boss. Bro, I'm so glad I've gone to four, uh, four bosses orders. It just feels nice. Hello? That's kind of bad. Don't get there, boss. Can I have mine, please? Oh, no. Yeah, this is bad. Because... Oh, no, it's fine. You see me how I switch up? I'm trying to keep you on edge. You watching? You paying attention? Huh? You listening? You in the zone? I hope so. This is actually okay. Unless they've got another boss. If they have another boss, then... Eh. But if they don't... Oh, wouldn't it be beautiful to have the Oko now? But, it, it, you know, you can't have... Can't have your cake and eat it, eh? That's the game. Maybe I should have... Ultra board prior... Just to extra thin? Oh, no, of course not. It's fine. We get it anyway because we're just that good. All right, baby. Break edge for the KO. And we've beaten an Arceus Duraladon. That is lovely. See you later, uh, rubber gloves. Uh, probably never see you again, so that was nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, I've had to make a quick... Uh, I'll explain it a bit. Hold on. It doesn't matter to you, really, to be fair. Uh, right, so I'm going to go ahead and we need to start getting things moving as quickly as possible. I like the idea of actually going for this. Now, we are playing Maridon, so we know how these go. So it might actually be worth getting these two down, right? There's a lot of bench space being taken up here. But I do need to get two Magnemite down. I have to get two Magnemite down, okay? It's risky, right? Because they could Gust KO my one Zacian. But uh, I, I don't like this Rotom being in the active. That's for one. That needs to go onto the bench, right? We know the one care potential of this deck. So we're going to take it seriously. And we're going to go and draw some extra stuff here. And then just go for an instant charge. We need to find a way to get Magnezone, bro. That's what we need to look for. Right, so... Ugh, Pokemon TCG Live, I swear to God, it's infuriating. So, I actually recorded three games, I think four maybe, before this, when doing the original recording of the video. And then, uh, the metal sound effect got in the way. So, with the way I was recording my audio, I was routing all of my audio, uh, everything that's being played, on this computer into one certain track, including my vocal track, and I didn't separate my vocal track like I usually did for some reason, it just wasn't, uh, it just didn't happen, right? Now, because of that, the metal sound effect, I could not remove it. So, my audio sounded fine, my mic sounded fine, but every time a metal went into the active, it was ear-breaking, right? And I couldn't remove it, so I now had to re-record, unfortunately. Here we are re-recording that. So, as I said, it doesn't matter to you, obviously, but, oh my god, is it infuriating that because of the game, I have to redo things. I have to uh, work longer. I was originally going to scrap the video, but I realized it's salvageable, so here we are. All because of PDCGL. This is the first time it's really affected me in that way, and it's infuriating. Devs, sort it out, okay? This should not be affecting me in this way. It shouldn't be. It just, it just, it just shouldn't. I know there's a lot of you sitting there going, first time? <laughs> um, I guess I, 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 I consider myself lucky. Anyway, 
Blood is waffling. Oh, bro, one more energy and we would have had it. Oh, it's annoying. Oh, it's a... F oh. Okay. Well, what? I'm just gonna... Fine. Fine. Have it your way. I'll roll Tom here and just draw. You want to take out my Greninja? Fine. Uh, we just need to go ahead, get Zacian out, hit that KO. Uh, Zacian effectively can just shred through this deck uh, beautifully. Um, now... I've got to consider the fact, though, that if they do get the two Regieleckis out, they can Oko us, which is kind of a big deal. Got to bear that in mind. So let's hope... <sighs> hey, it's a big ask. I, I think they're going to be able to pull things off. But that said, we can boss Oko a Regieleki VMAX next turn. And that could throw off their numbers dramatically. Be bro, we hit 310. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's great. Okay, if we could do that... Oh, we just need to hit one energy off the Magna Zone. Now, I have dramatically reduced the energy count, meaning Magna Zone doesn't hit as much. But, bro, you're looking at the top six cards of your deck in a deck that plays 15 energy. Come on, baby. You know it's going to work out for us if we really give it a go. You know, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Also, um, another th quick side note why this person takes about 10 years to decide what they want to do with their life. Um, <laughs> as I say it, they attack. Uh, there were some issues with audio as well where it was kind of turning itself down and stuff. It was something to do with something I was doing. With a certain effect. So I've, I've changed that. I hope it sounds fine. The metal? I'm hoping it didn't pick it up there. I swear to God, if it did, I'm going to lose me marbles. Magnet zone! Oh. Just on time. Maybe I should have benched as uh, Zassian V before doing that, but it's fine. We'll put uh, energy on the, on the Magnet zone. We'll do that. We do have an Oko on the Reggie Necky V map. That's beautiful. Oh. Magnifica? This is why I've gone for four boss. We can just have total control. Now, granted, they will be able to KO this V-Star, but the one afterwards, they won't be able to one it KO, and we may be able to just see ourselves through the game with bosses. Yep. Okay. We pretty much have game plan already, right? They're going to KO this Asian. I don't know. But we get another one out, KO that Pokemon, and then boss up. Oh. Oh. Oh, they need to bench something we can KO. We can't Oko. Maraidon, even with Choice Belt. It might. Is it worth. Oh! They may have given it to us without realizing. It means I have to boss again. But I think we might be heading somewhere here. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. Do they get a KO here on us? So, currently hitting. This would be 200, 230, right? I believe they're hitting. Don't tell me they are 10 damage off. That's outrageous, bro. I would be furious. They're 10 damage off. That's insane. No chance. Oh my god, I think they are. Right? Hold on. Yeah, because full on both sides is 220. It's 20, so it's my 200. Choice belt's 230. I'm broke. Yeah. Even with this Reggie Lecky here, I don't think they have it. Oh my god, that's insane. That's how critical it was to take out that VMAX. I still think they whiff. Echoing Horn. Echoing Horn is what they need. Oh, 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 wait, what? How did they hit 260? Oh. Um, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's all part of my plan, okay? I've, I've prepared this in my head. That's what makes it right. <laughs> Okay, I have to thin. I have to thin. Okay, we have to thin, thin, thin. All right, as much as we can to just guarantee what we need here. Yeah, sure thing. Why not? I guess I guess you could come in handy. Uh, they need to take two prizes, so that can go down just fine. I think I have to gust here. So I have to hit one energy. One. One energy of this. Boy! <laughs> we get it, baby. Let's go. All right, so we evolved to this Asian. Magnifique. Magnifique. Boss this up and KO it, and we just have to hope they don't have boss for game now. The fact that they managed to pull off that KO is concerning. But if they haven't got boss, we win. Okay? So we're kind of riding on their top deck. We've been behind on the prize trade the whole time. We basically need a turn, right? We're a turn behind. If they can just hit us without KOing us. That said, 
choice belt here will also get them there. Ah, they've got the boss. Okay, fair play. Fair play, fair play. It's just purely the fact that we fell behind. If we had one spare turn, we would have won for sure. But that's the game, right? That's how it works. So we were able to contend, but not get the dub there. Let's go for another one and hopefully we get a dub, eh? Oh my god, what, what the hell are those sleeves? He says using the def default PDCG live sleeve. What? Uh, look, hey, listen. No disrespect to this Donny. You know, I'm sure they're a lovely person and all that. But my god, is that terrible. I apologize, but what the hell are those sleeves? What the hell? What is that? Oh, it's the writing, the Pokemon trainer. The what? Oh, that is disgusting. Oh my god, fix that. Is that how they look in real life? Oh my god, that's, that's from that weird box that you get, right? They had a car and a... No! Huh! Also, what is this? This is a terrible, terrible hand. Recycler kind of clutch, but, um, yeah, um, okay. Maraidon, please. Yes, and we have Rotom and Magnemite. Okay, so we can at least draw some cards. That's fine. We're playing Mew, though. We've got to be, uh, extra spicy. We've got to be quick, bro. That, that, we, we can't have starts like this against Mew. I'll tell you what. This is a very weird thing for me to say, but I actually am glad I've seen Mew. I've rarely seen- Where's Mew been? Uh, in the Shadow Realm, and now it's just popped up in- Was it Heart Heartlands or Malmo, where Mew just decided to be good again? Just started appearing in, like, top top 8 lists and top 16s and stuff, and it's like, Hold on, Mew's back! Honestly, that's a sign of a decent format, though. Where a deck can kind of just disappear in one tournament and then just appear in another. I kind of like that. There's variety, you know? It's quite fun. It's quite fun. Anyway, uh, this is clearly potentially, well, it's not the <coughs> League Battle version because, you know, they've got these, these, these nice artworks unless they've replaced it in some way. But Psychic Basic Energy and Muse, is there a reason for that now? Or is it just uh, an old school build, so to speak? Energy, you don't see Mew doing that, do you? <laughs> Uh, I guess you kind of do in some way, eh? They've only got the one? Oh, no, so it is for one energy. Okay. Oh, it sucks! Sucks, bro. If we had a much better start, we could have had some juice. Ah, that said, we technically do. Oh, wow. I could Oko this. <gasps> Adamant could get us there, bro. I don't think there's anything else apart from playing Adamant. We get Rare Candy and Zacian V Star. And if we hit two energy... That's a KO, bro. <laughs> Saucer. Okay. 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 Come on. If there's ever a time where I need to hit some good stuff, it's now. Sort me out, Giga Magnet. Anyway, um. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. It happens, you know. It happens. It happens. Man, doesn't that suck, though? Doesn't that really suck? We had a chance. I don't like it when I lose. There's a melomet, huh? All right. Well, they're playing a bunch of their power tablets. That's nice. All right. That's good. Um. Bro, I'm telling you as well, by the way, just a heads up. Huh? Bro, I'm unranked. I'm not messing about here. Right, you'd be sitting there going, oh, he's playing casual. Look at this. This deck ain't right. This clearly he's on casual. He's just pretending to. I am full on ranked, bro. Full on. Ah, huh? I, I'm so baffled what is going on. <laughs> My head's are spinning. <laughs> it's a twirling. Wow, well, go on, bro. <laughs> oh, what the hell is going on? Right, uh, we don't really have one at KO potential because of the Oracorio. Um, but if we could get... It's a big ass. Free energy on this. Plus choice belt. We could be talking. Now, here's the debate. Okay. Oh, God. I'm thinking, right, do I Magnazone? Or Chorus first? This, I could Chorus into a bunch of energy, right? Or I could Chorus into none. I don't think there's a, a, an optimal way here. We're going to Giga Magnet. Oh! Oh! Chance? We need a choice belt. And an energy. 
Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, we got it, baby. Let's go. Okay, let me just spit everywhere. Uh, I think, I think we get an ultra ball. Oh, oh, oh we got it. No shot. Bang, bang. Is that? Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, all of these cards are quite good. I don't. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Are they gonna get KO me next time? They could. They could. I need to be ready for that. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I need to be ready for that. Oh, no, but the, the path, it doesn't matter. We could have just, yeah, you know? Okay. Sword Star! Incoming! New VMAX! And that's free prizes for us, which is very juicy. <laughs> okay. That's, okay, all the bosses came. Good thing we got rid of the boss. That's a great, great turn there. Now, we just need to keep it going. Right, that's the point. The, the point of this deck is to keep it the flow, you know? That's what we're looking for here. Meloetta's doing currently 140. Maths is hard. 70. Maths is hard. Still no KO. We've got boss. Right, we can maybe boss up the Genesex and just KO it. You know, that seems fair. Let's see what we get off this first before we kind of figure it out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're looking good. Or I, I just go for the two-bit KO. Yeah, I think that's correct, right? I think we go for the two-bit KO. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, bro, my head's running at like a million miles an hour. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. I can guarantee KO on Genesect, right? And then the turn after... I can just boss up. Yeah, I can boss up like Aura Corio or, or, or even if they come with better, I get an Oko as long as I get an energy. So we're fine. Okay, let's get Genesect. Ah, boom. There we go. Oh, bro, I just love this. I absolutely love it. Bro, that seems good, man. Just needs to be made good, you know? That makes sense. Anyway, we've got the energy. We've got the boss's orders. That's a comfortable win, bro. Comfortable. Granted. This isn't really your typical Mew now, is it? However, bear in mind, listen, we have been operating on the path pretty much the whole time. So, and you know, Mew usually is more path heavy nowadays, less of this weird Meloetta stuff. You know, I think we still have a decent run against it. I guess if really, if you're that worried, just for a Drapion, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why Mew dropped off so suddenly, just Drapion everywhere. Funnily enough, this Zassian V actually does 260 to V maxes. What a weird attack, by the way. Anyway, um, <laughs> we do have game, even though we don't have the V star. I can just go ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got. Oh, we don't have game. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. It's up. Oh, they... Okay, fine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Sure thing, bro. Sure thing. <laughs> Lugia time. All right. We've got some good variants here, man. I'm Honestly, I think this is a good sign of the format. You know, uh, funny enough, I've been very lucky today. I haven't run into a lost box. I'm counting my blessings. Don't worry. <laughs> got a mulligan. We take that as well. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got Lugia. Interesting. And we are going first. Also interesting. Let's see how we do here. So, the boss count is a high. Very high. Uh, no, 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 no. Boss, too good, bro. Too good. Too good. Even for even in the early doors, you know? Let's Maride on, and we'll get ourselves Magnemite and Rotom V. I think that's correct. And attach, and then just go for cheeky instant charge. It'd be so nice if the other Zacian was still here, because you didn't, you won't need the Rotom anymore. You can just Intrepid Sword, even get energy on ahead of time. Oh, it would have been so good. Oh, it would have been so good. But it's, uh, it's, it's all right. We're in the format we're in for that reason. Um, but it's weird that that did exist at the same time. And even then, nothing really came of it. Uh, but then we did have Maraid on to insta set up things like Magnazone. So, yeah. And there's no longevity. Magnazone just gives longevity. Oh, that's a tough research, no? But there, one kit, one hit KO, Donnie, gone. Just gone. Unless they pay Miriam, which I doubt. Oof. 
Right, so uh, they do have Tyranitar. Tyranitar's a big threat. But if we can get an early KO here, that would be extremely nice. We're not... Uh, unfortunately, the Arida, although... Um, the Arida's not going to get us there. No, we're going to have to call res and hope, basically. Because if we could just get a KO on this. Granted, they'll draw their cards, but... If they are going to be cheeky and not bench another Lugia V, that's risky. It means they need to find a Thornton if they do play it. I'm, I'm really enjoying Lugia with Thornton. It's so fun. Um, and it just gives you that safety net. It really gives you a safety net. Also can help remove damage from things like Lost Box and stuff if they do go, you know, go for Tyranitar and stuff. Oh, wait, no, that makes no sense. Thornton doesn't remove damage counters, right? No, Penny does. That's why Penny's seeing play, by the way, quite a bit. Because against Lost Box, it just causes... It. Yeah, you Penny Clap Stadium, a good way to deal with Lost Box. Um, you see Gardevoir doing that. And it, bloody hell, it works. That's another one. Radiant Serena, that's a good way to do it too. That's for sure. But um, nonetheless, it seems like a typical start. Do they get the other Archeops down? Not yet. So currently no double Archeops, but you know, can get it next turn. I'm, I'm pretty sure they would actually. Ah, huh? Pog? Okay. So I need to thin. Let's get another Zass. Oh, I could, I could Greninja, but that's that's greedy. No, no, no. I think that's all the thinning we can do. A camera ride on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's let's do that. Let's get another Magnemite down. Thin, thin, thin. We need basically rare candy. We need we need we, yeah we need the two. We need rare candy, Ultra Ball, rare candy, Magnezone. Just give me a rare candy. Come on. Oh. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, okay. All right, let's go. Now we just need to hit one energy off the Magnezone, okay? And then this Lugia's down, and that's a good boost, okay? A great start. Come on! There we go. There we go. Right, I'm going to put this one here. Okay, because you never know. You never know. Right, you said, sure, be it. Choice belt, okay? Choice belt. 230, Elugia down. Granted, they're going to draw some cards here. But that price trade-wise is massive. I feel like this matchup is very price trade heavy, okay? Tyranitar can come out and Oko us. Then we Oko it. And then they come out and try and Oko us. And then we Oko it. So the fact that we are ahead of that price trade, bear in mind, we can Oko anything. So even if they had the Urshifu come out, we could still Oko a Sword Star. This is a very trade heavy matchup. So getting ahead, you don't understand how good that is. That's massive for us. So now, that said, they still need to do something here, right? They still need to, they're gonna start, <gasps> the one? Oh, it's done, it's game, bro. It is, bro, I'm just gonna boss up the Archeops. <laughs> but yeah, fine, you can get an extra hit on me, fine, but I'm gonna just KO your only way to find energy now. Oh, 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 that is rough. Oh, that is so rough. I feel bad. I feel this is Lugia sometimes, right? This is why people don't play it. It just has these weird, 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 awkward plays, man. Serena, don't tell me. No, for sure they didn't have. Wait, why are they summoning stars so early? I think they've done this all wrong. I Listen, that is a greedy play, right? Serena for Gust? You should have Serenaed your hand away. Tried to find a way to get the other Archeops out because now your longevity is gone, right? All you have for the rest of the game now. Hear this out. Yeah, all they have for the rest of the game is this Lugia. That's it. That's pretty much it. And I have all this energy acceleration. Yeah, I'm telling you, that that was just... That was wild. That was absolutely wild, bro. What an interesting experience with Zacian. I honestly think, as I said from the start, it's a good card, all things considered, right? It's Shred. Oko, built into one. It could deal with almost anything. Now, granted, the Lost Box matchup, that's an interesting one. Because we don't have any healing outs. But, you know, it's not going to take much for you to kind of figure that out. Get a couple, couple crystal caves in here. You know, it heals metal Pokemon. There you go. Maybe a Penny or something like that if they try, try and work on uh, a, a Luminion. There's definitely things you can put in this deck to accommodate for the Lost Box matchup. Um, I guess, uh, I guess Dialga usually just tries to go for the fact that it can just take heavy KOs very quickly and also, you know, take multiple extra turns, which is, is quite a big deal for Lost Box and stuff. So, here though, we don't really have that. So, there, there's still ways to deal with it, but nonetheless, I like Zacian. I think it's cool. I think it's really good. Um, so, yeah. Try it out for yourself. 
Let me know what you do. This deck definitely still needs some tweaking. You know, it's not perfect. So let me get the deck list back up for you. It's not perfect, okay? Still needs some tweaking, that's for sure. But it's fine. It is what it is, right? Pretty cool. Um, but nonetheless, we are going to leave it there. Do leave a like if you did enjoy. Please do subscribe for more. Check out, by the way, the new series on the channel if you haven't. Road to Arceus. But we're trying to get from rank 0 all the way to 2660, which is Arceus rank with nothing but the resources the game provides us. No outsource investment, no codes, nothing like that. Raw, free to play to see if we can get there. A really, really fun experience and uh, it's a different kind of video. Much more edited down. Uh, I wanted to try something new, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. But yeah, we're going to leave it there. Of course, on top of all of that, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.